Hello, my beautiful Taurians. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising. And um, okay, so there might be something going on regarding a Gemini person in your life, love with a Gemini person. Um, you could also have Gemini in your chart, but um, definitely making a choice for some reason. Um, Tauruses here at the upcoming week here, maybe related to Wow, Tauruses, um, for some of you, you're really getting it on. You're getting busy with your love life, with your physical life. Uh, this could also be where someone in your life is more prone to materialism than you are. But let's just go ahead and let's get in here. Now, of course, Taurus, that could be you as well. But this is for your birthday reading. So happy birthday, Tauruses. This is going to be your extended reading. And I am going to make these readings... For the extended, I've with everybody on the internet and trying to upload things to YouTube and everything else, I have to make these shorter. Okay, I just have to because I just don't have time to wait for them to load. So I'm going to get right into it. And for those of you Tauruses interested, you can certainly go to the link below and get a membership to my website or you can also uh, purchase a consultation with me. But let's go ahead and let's get into it. This is for the month of May of 2020. Taurus says, please put your energy in the deck. Okay, Taurus says, I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. All right. So Taurus says, your first card is justice. So Taurus, you might be dealing with the Department of Justice. You might be dealing with legal issues. You might be dealing with trying to find the balance in a situation, even a Libra in person. Okay. I'm going to give you the general energies of the cards, and then we'll go through and we'll pull out more energies, okay? Then we have the Five of Wands. So as really the Five of Wands, this is petty energy. This is conflict, internal conflict, external conflict, people not getting along, okay? Battling, possibly on-the-job training, something like that, definitely coming up here. And the Seven of Pentacles is all about needing to kind of take a step back and find out, you know what, do I really want to um, harvest right now? Do I want to take this opportunity to create a level of, um, I'm just hearing putting my eggs in one basket, putting all my eggs in one basket. Um, don't do that. You know that that is a bad idea. Uh, or someone around you may be saying, you, you might be saying that to somebody else, don't put all your, bags, your eggs in one basket. I just heard don't put all your bags in one basket. So I don't, I don't know what that means for you either, but there could be something about bags, baggage, uh, something happening uh, at this present time regarding that. Needing to, um, needing to make sure that if you are doing any type of physical labor, any type of physical um, work, Make sure that whatever whatever you're taking from one place to another, that the load that you're carrying is balanced. This could be figuratively or this could even be literally. But make sure the load that you're carrying is balanced. Make sure that there's reciprocation. Okay, that's just definitely what I'm picking up here. So what is the next card? The Wheel of Fortune is all about the fates. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor as it relates to something legal, some sort of... Um, uh, court case, something like that, where there was a lot of internal conflict or there was a lot of external conflict, a lot of people backbiting, fighting all over the place. And it appears, Taurus, that you are coming in and you are saying, you know what, I am going to be the one that needs to bring order to this court is what's happening here, Taurus. So that's just what I'm seeing. And for others of you, while maybe all of this stuff is going on behind the scenes or in front of you, but you have nothing to do with it, you're, you're in a situation right now where maybe you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to read a good book. I'm just going to try to take myself out of the situation mentally so that I don't get myself overly anxious about what's going on here. Now, please remember, guys, this could be you. Um, I'm always going to speak from the Torian perspective, but um, it could be somebody else in your life or it could be some energies going on around you that the um, universe just wants to make you aware of. But that is definitely happening here. Now, for some Tauruses out there, you are winning the fight. You are winning against some sort of competition, which is very, very nice. And then you have the death card. So as really the death card, Taurus, this is a Scorpio person. Maybe a Scorpio Libra Cusper. Libra Scorpio Cusper is very significant in your life right now, Taurus. 
or a Libra and a Scorpio um, person or people are extremely um, important in your life right now. Something about ending an old phase and going into the new phase. Like literally putting the final nail in the coffin is what I am hearing here for some of you Tauruses out there. There might be something, now for some of you, you are overcoming conflict and this Libra and the Scorpio are helping you. But for others of you, you are overcoming conflict with a Libra and a Scorpio. Or you are helping overcome conflict for a Libra and it's like you're assisting this Libra and the Scorpio person or this uh, Libra or Scorpio people is what I'm picking up here. There might be something related to the church religion, Taurus, as this is happening here. Something um, There's something regarding a situation that is turning around, Taurus. And I'm trying to figure out what this is. Let's see. Let's keep going. Nine of Cups, Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, you beat death. You beat the Scorpio is what I'm hearing. For some of you Tauruses, not all of you, but for some of you, you beat the Scorpio. If you were having conflict with a Scorpio, you won. Taurus, something is going on here regarding you being victorious against something that was outside of your control. And something is ending very abruptly but something different is starting just as abruptly. This, I feel this is related to a court case, Taurus. Like you're bringing somebody in or you're, um, you're confronting somebody or somebody's being indicted or someone is being accused of something and you've got the data to back it up. So now you're going to court. That's just what I'm hearing here, Taurus. You're going to court or you're hearing about people going to court. That's what's happening. This could also be, Taurus, for you, that there was a competition in your life relative to maybe waiting for something or putting in a lot of work and waiting for the right time to harvest the um, fruits of your labor. And it might be relating to a Libra or a Scorpio person or a Libra Scorpio cusper, okay, and or either or, okay. And it's almost as though for some reason, for those of you that are friends with this Scorpio person or this Libra person, the wheel of fortune has turned into your, has turned in your favor. Either they, they, I'm just hearing they are smiling upon you with favor, if whatever that means. So there's something that you did, Taurus, or there's some sort of action that was taken here. Maybe you waited for the right time for something to create this transformation, to create this change, and you are now abundant and you're being celebrated, Taurus. You are being celebrated. Wow. Okay. So Taurus, we are going to get into your extended right now. So let's see what's going on here as really like, why is the death card? Why is this transformation card here? I am using the witch's tarot and I'm going to do the reversals and uprights. So let's see here. Let, you know what? Let's look at why the Wheel of Fortune is here first, and then we'll find out why this transformation or why this death is here. So why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What is this change? What is this control? What is, why is this here? For my beautiful Taurians, my beautiful bowls, why is this here? Eight of Wands reversed. So the reason why the Wheel of Fortune is turning into your favor is because there movement stopped. This is very interesting. So Taurus, there was a situation in your life and it could be in any area of life. It can be love, it can be work, it can be uh, spirituality, it can be whatever. And something just stopped. Like something, it's, it's like all of a sudden, it just, it completely, all action forward, all movement forward just stopped. And this turned out to be positive for you.
I just heard the body and the blood of Christ. I don't know why that just came in, but it did. Very interesting. Taurus, this could also be the reason why the Wheel of Fortune is here is because travel was eliminated. Or travel was not allowed. Okay, let's, what's the next card? Three of Swords. Lies, deceit, betrayal. You know what is happening here, Taurus? Um, because lies, deceit, and betrayal were uncovered, movement forward literally stopped, but it ended up being good for you. For the cross watchers, please understand that this could also be you in the situation with the Taurus. That maybe you uncovered something deceptive about the Taurus and you decided to stop movement forward with the Taurus and now your life is changing. So please remember everyone, this, there's, there's no gender here. It's, it, it can be male, it can be female, it can be feminine, it can be masculine. The cards are archetypes, that's all they are. But there was something going on here, Taurus, with possibly heartbreak, separation, pain, hurt, whatever it was. And um, it could also be sharp objects. Like I'm, I'm literally seeing somebody bleeding and I don't know why it is. Maybe you cut yourself on something recently, Taurus, but something is happening here. And there's some level of energy with this that it is as though something on the surface may not have looked as good as, um, you know, at the beginning. All right, Taurus. So something happened here where you're like, great. Now I've got to contend with this. Now I've got to do that. Actually, Taurus, this turned out in your favor. This, this separation, this delay, this no movement forward, this, um, this interfering energy, it absolutely turned out in your favor because now you've got more control or it turned out to be in somebody else's favor. Now, this could also be for some of you Tauruses, you have been going through some level of anxiety, heart pain, um, hypertension, something going on like that as well. Maybe you had heart palpitations or feeling like you were being stabbed or little prickly sensations everywhere. That could be getting bit by insects. Oh, that's just gotta be freaking, I hate that. But you're putting an end to it. If you've got, if you're being bitten by insects for whatever reason, Taurus, I'm telling you right now, they are not going to make it another day. They are just there. Bye-bye. See you later. You are not going to allow that to be around much longer. All right. What is the third card for the clarifying energy for the Wheel of Fortune? There you go. The Ten of Swords reversed. You know, for some of you Taurians out there, this could have been a situation where, um, This is like a permanent, permanent loss. You know, when it's in the upright, yes, it's painful, but the sun is coming up on the other side. Someone's been backstabbed. Someone's been lied to. Someone has been, I mean, the lies around the situation and the betrayal and the manipulation and the coercion and the deceit around the situation were just absolutely unbelievable. But with the Ten of Swords in reverse, the way that I am picking this up is that there was something that someone tried to bury. There was something that someone tried to, tried to um, hide, okay? Or something that someone tried to kill, okay? A situation. But the deceit was uncovered. And the reason the deceit was uncovered was because of the fact that there was no more travel or there was no more communication. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um, This is going to be a special message for someone. And for others of you, this could be there was no more love because there was betrayal and someone was trying to hide something from you or you were trying to hide something from someone else. That's just what I'm picking up here. I mean, for a lot of you Tauruses out there, you're, you're recovering from the pain. You may be recovering from back pain, back surgery, something like that. Some type of surgery, some of you are recovering from some type of surgery or your surgery was delayed and maybe this is a good thing for you and maybe for some others of you, maybe not, okay? So let's take that for what it is worth. But this could also, like I said, this could be where someone tried to come back into someone's life after betraying them 
and begged to come back into their life. And the other person was like, uh uh, no, there's no more love here. There's no more movement forward here at all. We are going to end it for all once, once and for all. For good, we are going to end this. So, Taurus, what do we have going on? Why is the death card here then? Why is the Scorpio here? Why is this death card here? But remember, this puts you into control. So let's see what we've got going on here with death. Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Beautiful Taurus says, why is the death card here? No. The nine of pentacles reversed. Someone didn't want to be alone. I mean, that's really kind of what it boiled down to, Taurus. Like, Someone in a situation, the reason why something died or the reason why somebody, something transformed was because someone didn't want to be alone. Someone didn't want to um, Someone didn't want to put effort into something anymore. Yeah. Someone didn't put any effort into anything anymore. Someone didn't try. Someone just decided to bail on a situation. Um, someone lost their, their grace. Someone lost their ability to mesmerize other people. Someone lost their ability to be self-sufficient. And this is what caused this death of a situation. Why else is the death card here? Happy family. So what I am sensing here for some of you Taurians out there is that this could be a Scorpio person that doesn't want to be alone anymore. They want to have a happy family. It could be any sign, by the way, Taurus. It doesn't have to be a Scorpio, but it's somebody with Scorpio characteristics. And they want that happy family. They want to be in a situation where they're a family again. They want a very functional family. And perhaps what happened here a little bit in the past was someone was not putting in effort. Someone was betraying, someone was deceiving, someone was playing games. And then what happened here is that someone decided, I'm putting an end to this because I don't have time for games. I want to be in a relationship. I want a happy family. I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to be on my own anymore. It's time for me to settle down. And that's just what I'm picking up here. This uh, Scorpio person or someone with those characteristics is uh, someone who wants to have that happy family or Taurus, you are the one that wants to have this happy family and the Scorpio person or the Scorpio-like person is helping you to achieve that for whatever reason. But somebody decided they didn't want to be alone anymore and they were ready to offer their love to someone. Excuse me. Okay. So now we have the chariot. So this could also be someone with a lot of Cancerian in their chart. But remember, we do have duality here. We've got two horses. We've got one black, one white. This could be a Gemini. This could also be a Pisces or a Libran person, as well as the Cancerian person, simply because of the duality. That's just what I read as a reader. Um, the chariot, it looks like those horses are certainly, um, they're spooked. It's like they're spooked. It's like they're... Um, this, this charioteer is really trying to maintain control of these horses, Taurus. So what I'm picking up here is that either you are controlling these horses from going every which way, like you're putting them in their place. You're saying, oh no, and this could be Sagittarius. So you might be saying to a Sagittarius uh, Taurus, oh no, you are going to do what it is that I want you to do. And that's what's coming up here. So um, that could be, so you might be dealing with a Scorpio Sag Cusper right now. You might be traveling to see family or family wants to travel to see you, but maybe it was delayed and maybe you had to make other plans. But overall, I'm, I keep hearing spooked. So something spooked you, Taurus, or something spooked somebody else. Like, they, um, like they've like they seen death, or they've seen people from the other side, or, or something like that. But what I'm sensing for a lot of you Taurians out there, you are ready, or someone around you is ready to be in a very committed bond. They don't want to be alone anymore. They want to be with family. They want to see their family. And someone wants to start over um, 
like start a new slate, like a, a clean slate. They don't want to carry this old person or this old baggage with them anymore. They want to move forward with either a new person, maybe somebody they just started seeing. Um, with the chariot here, it could have been upwards of seven months ago. They started seeing somebody about seven months ago or whatever. And now it's like everything's coming into culmination. Everything's coming to fruition and it's moving forward. It's really moving forward. And then the outcome is this nine of cups. You couldn't ask for anything better. Taurus. And also, Taurus, it is your birthday month, so you're probably celebrating your birthday. Um, but, you know, this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. So this could also be some other level of celebration, entertainment, really finding that beautiful, loving family unit that you've been looking for. That is just gorgeous. All right, I am going to pull really quick one card from the Oracle of Visions. For my beautiful Taurians. Sorry. Tauruses, look at this. You are protected. You, your ancestors, that, that might be this death card. And see, this, this is this is the value of the extended reading. So for those of you um, that really do value this extended reading, you, you may want to get uh, a membership to my website to access all of the extended readings for all of the signs. But with this being said, this person... This may be somebody who's passed on that's watching over you. They've got their hands on you. Like somebody's putting hands on somebody else. You're like when they pray over them, that is what I'm picking up here, Taurus. Someone is sleeping and you're protected. So there might be something, maybe there's a security alarm that you're putting in your home. Something is protecting you while you sleep. It could be the angels. It could be a, a security system. It could be your dog. It could be your cat. It could be somebody else in your life, but there's a lot of nurturing going on right now, Taurus, and that is gorgeous. So Taurus, let's see what's going on with your love energy. What's your love energy like? Taurus, what is your love energy like? What is your love energy? Single Taurians, I will approach this from the single perspective as well as a practical perspective for you. I suggest listening to both the single and the couples because both of those may apply. So the single Taurians, what have we got? Ethereal touch. This is absolutely unbelievable. Ethereal touch. Taurus says, someone on the other side is watching you. They're watching over you. They're with you. They're sleeping beside you in the bed. This could be a grandfather, a grandmother, a mother, a father, a sister, uh, whatever. If someone was has passed on, know that they're watching over you. The ethereal touch is cannot be mistaken here. This is a 27. 27, break it down, it's a nine, okay? Then if you would take it singly, the two is all about the partnerships, the coupling, the, like the two of cups, the two of wands, the partnerships. And then you've got the seven, which is all about partnerships as well. Equality, fairness, justice, because you do have that justice card here. So the ethereal touch. Taurus says, you may, you may love to touch your partner, like massage them, massage their, their, um, their arm. You know, you might not be married to them. You might be dating them right now, but you love to massage their arm. You like touching your partner, the person you're dating. You like touching them. It looks like this is an extremely strong, strong relationship. Um, if you're not married, if you're not engaged right now, you could be, maybe you're deciding to move in together, or maybe you, you, know, you do sleepovers and you like to cuddle. But then it's like once once you get done cuddling, it's like boom, you go you go to the separate side of the bed or whatever. But that is just what I'm picking up here. That's really really gorgeous. Wow, you cannot beat that. And just the way this is, I mean, she's in a blanket, like she's in bed. That is the ethereal touch. It's like it's like somebody holds onto your hand or they cuddle with you so you can fall asleep or they're holding you, protecting you. So you feel safe when you're getting ready to fall asleep. This could be a child. You could be rocking your child to sleep. Yes, beautiful. Couple Tauruses, what do we have? 
couple Tauruses. What do we have? Lovers. Taurus, I'm telling you. Rising Venus, Moon, Sun, Jupiter. The person you're with, Taurus, is your soulmate. And I think what happened here, and they might be a Gemini, or you might be a Gemini, maybe you're a, a Taurus Gemini, but what's happening here, and there's something about looking up at the stars, looking up at the sky, maybe they're, maybe you're watching shooting stars or something like that, Taurus, but there is something about looking up at the sky with this relationship for whatever reason. Maybe you guys like looking out at the night sky or watching the sun come up. But for a lot of you out there, I believe when we look at this, it's a 57. So we break that down and that is a 12. And we break the 12 down, that's a three, okay? That is body, mind, spirit, connection. That's communication, that's Gemini. That's short distance travel, that's communication, that's siblings, that's all, all of that energy, okay? Social media, dialogue, being able to have a good conversation. But it's a 57. So the five is the conflict. The seven is the partnership. So I think, Taurus, something happened where one or both of you was in a deceptive situation. And because you or the other person said, no more, I'm not dealing with this deceptive situation anymore. I'm really going to move forward with my love and my, um, and my dedication to someone that I can move forward with, that I am going to have a strong family unit with that I, I don't have to worry about being alone with my children, with, with whatever. Like, I'm going to have a family unit. That is what happened. Some sort of conflict happened so that you could find your soulmate, you could find and really appreciate your partnership with somebody. And because of that, you've got the lovers here. That is really gorgeous. All right. Now I am going to pull a card for the... Um, Gods and Titans deck. Let's see what we got, my beautiful Taurians. Gods and Titans. What have we got? And then we'll end it. Apollo inquiry. All right, Taurus. Um, I am telling you right now, and again, I must admit, this happens all the time with me. You cannot mistake this. This is why these extended readings are so important inquiry and justice someone is there there somebody's going through an inquiry Taurus you might be conducting an inquiry into a situation where there was a lot of conflict where there was a lot of competition possibly where there was um a lot of scorpionic energy jealousy um obsession uh envy uh, you know Pluto Pluto energy such as the the deep the dark things that are under underground like underground deception and you've got all this deception here with this wheel of fortune like it's like you uncovered deception so someone's going through an inquiry or you might be uh conducting an inquiry with somebody else could be in the family it could be wherever but there is an inquiry that's happening here all right taurus i hope you liked this extended reading for your birthday i wish you the best much light much love and many blessings namaste